Okay, so this is part two of a radio interview I did with Kate Clark from Radio Gloucestershire when she came down to the farm. Um, lovely day, we walked down the lane and went to see the hay meadow. So uh, here we go. How much do you think it costs to buy a ton of wildflower seeds? Imagine it in your head, a ton of wildflower seeds. How much do you think it costs? It is a staggering amount and you're going to find out very soon. But if you want to just send me a quick sneaky text or message via Twitter with your guess on, I will give you a mention. You can find out in the next few minutes. Because six months ago, for the Sunday Mid-Morning Show, we visited the Funky Farmer, otherwise known as Richard Cornock. Now, Richard Cornock, with his family, runs a dairy farm in Titherington, near Wootton under Edge. And last December, we were taste testing and hearing about the newborn calves in the dry shed. Well, it's a completely different picture now, of course. The cows are outside in the lush green pasture. The lanes are rich with wildflowers and birdsong. Richard takes me to see the wild meadow or semi-improved grassland, which is managed as part of the stewardship scheme. Here we are then, what do you think of this spot then? I just, I just love walking down here, I mean we're in a little green lane, this is a little like, old access lane to the lower fields and uh, you can see how the canopy of all the branches have come over and made this kind of almost like an arch isn't it? Shelter height, cow parsley and nettles on each side as well. This, uh, this is my favourite bit, look at this, see the branch in front, the little wiggly branch across, <laughs> it's all just really idyllic isn't it, it's what you want if you're out on a Sunday afternoon going for a little walk. Fab for the wildlife, there's a butterfly yeah. just uh, going up to some of the buttercups there. It's perfect for the wildlife. Yeah, the birds singing, if we'd be quiet a bit. Just lush, isn't it? It's just, I just love this bit of the farm. This is just where I come to. And I kind of clear your head if you walk down here. You just think, fantastic. And then we'll get to the bottom and we'll see the hay meadow and you see what you think of it anyway. And this time of year as well is really quite special because we've just come out of all that rain, all that yeah. those cold winter months. And it's just all lush and green. We're walking into a meadow, it just looks like it's a sea of, of yellow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Are they buttercups? Yeah, they are buttercups, yeah. They're really high. They are. And this is a field, okay. Now this is what's nice about this field. It's, um, it's a traditional hay, hay meadow, okay, and it's, it's called semi-improved grassland, right? Now this is what, if we're looking at what England would have looked like, hundred years ago all the fields in England used to look like this and then of course we had World War Two and things and dig for victory and, and have to produce a lot more food so it feels like this were kind of sprayed out and ploughed up just to produce a more productive um, field and uh, so there's not much semi-improved grassland around the countryside left I think there's only about 10% of England is left like that and we've got a couple of fields like this and I'm actually paid now to manage it to keep it like this under the stewardship scheme and for the last 15 years it's not had any fertiliser on it and it hasn't had any sprays or anything on it. It's completely free of all that. And also what I've also done, I've actually increased the biodiversity by adding wildflower mixes to the uh, grassland. Um, so what we're seeing now is buttercups because it's that time of year when you're going to see it. But if you come back here in about a month's time, you will see a lot of different other flowers coming through. And part of the scheme is I'm actually um, got to do a hay cut every third year because if you make silage, most people see people cutting grass in May for silage. That's a great time to make silage for, for cattle, but it's not very good for wildflowers because they haven't set seed then. So by making hay in July, the flowers have set seed, then when I scatter that grass around, the seeds get scattered around and we get we hopefully get more wildflowers. So uh, it's just a fantastic spot. And I, you know, as long as I, the rest of the farm can pay for itself, I can afford to leave certain fields like this that aren't so productive because why wouldn't you want to do that? I mean, just look, that's, that view is just brilliant. It, it is gorgeous. So there are buttercups which are knee high. There's clover, there's wild grasses, there are dock leaves. There's probably a handful of different wild grasses there that, yeah. that we I couldn't even name. I know. This is the thing. I got I can't remember the name. should have bought the sheets. I actually have got the sheets of all the different wildflowers, 26 different wildflower mix, uh, seed mix I put out there. Things like yellow rattle and oxide daisy and stuff. But how much do you think ton of wildflower seeds costs. When I when I was part of this project I was allocated £2,000 for wildflower seeds and I actually went to them to do it a few years after I'd allocated the money and they said oh sorry budget cuts we've got um, nothing left. So I said to them come on because these organisations always got a little biscuit tin around the back somewhere with a few quid in it and I said come on you've got some. So they found 
me £450 and I added £150 to that, okay? And it got me X amount of, of wildflower seeds. Now, the thing is, like, I'm going to say to you, how much do you think a tonne of wildflower seeds are? Well, you're saying you, got, you, got, you had £600. I had £600. Pounds. Was that half a tonne? How much do you reckon? It's, well, how much do you think a tonne of wildflower Well, go is? on, let's go. A tonne of wheat, I'm just guessing roughly 130 quid for a tonne of wheat at the moment. So how much do you think a tonne of wildflower seeds I is? I don't know, 500 quid? 500 quid. Nearly, it's £136,000. What? Yes. yes. So my wildflower mix, my £600, got me a little shopping carrier bag full of wildflower seeds. I can't get over that. Yeah. That's what you need to be doing next, is. is reaping the seeds. Well, there are, this them. is the interesting thing. When I bought this mix, I've, I've found, looked into it, and there are actually um, farms in the countryside, mostly in East Anglia, where they just grow wildflower seeds. But if you think how small wildflower seeds, how many wildflowers do you need to get a ton of, say, cowslips, cowslip seed? That's why it's so expensive, because you need acres and acres of land to grow wildflower seeds on. But what we did, actually, I, I then got some um, school children to come and help sow the seeds. And the little tip here is what you don't do is give a seven-year-old a bag of wildflower seeds worth £600 because they just go, whoop. Tip it all out. What you do is you mix it with sand. So you get a bucket and you put in, say, 80% sand and then you mix in the wildflower seeds with it and then you give the child the bucket. And that then they spread tip. it around and they don't just dump all of it in all one of it, pot because you know what children yeah, like they yeah, do tend yeah, to kind of throw do. things around they all do. over the place they do. so you cut this once every three years i uh, cut it for hay yeah and what i do do that about july time so when when all the flowers have gone over mm. i just love all i do, i tell you i just love doing stuff like that because i milk cows drive a tractor do a bit of muck spreading mow a field sort of thing but actually getting other people involved with it and doing things with kids and stuff it's really exciting and having young kids myself that's what i kind of like doing with them really and you're sowing their seeds oh. of the love of the countryside oh i like that i like that <laughs> you heard right a hundred and thirty six thousand pounds for a ton of wildflower seeds later in the program we'll be in the milking parlor and if you want to find out more about richard cornock he's got a youtube channel called the funky farmer so if you type in youtube.com and search for The Funky Farmer, you'll find him. And he uploads video blogs every week or so, just describing life on the farm. And it's really popular. He's also on richardcornock.co.uk.